welcome everybody. And I encourage some of you to come maybe a little bit closer to the center so uh, we can see each other well. I'm sure other people will join in the next few minutes. Um, welcome to ODI. Um, my name is Marta Foresti. I'm the head of the politics and governance uh, program here at ODI. Um, and we're very pleased today to discuss and help launch this book on preventing violent conflict in Africa, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it um, in a minute. Before we get into the subjects that we're all here to discuss today, a, a couple of housekeeping points. The first is that, as probably some of you know who have been at ODI public events before, ODI public events are on the record, um, and it is actually being streamed online, and we have an online audience following the proceedings who will also join the discussion. So when you uh, speak, uh, pose a question, please state who you are and speak into the microphone so that um, um, your contribution can be recorded. Um, if there is a fire alarm, um, that is real, it's not a test, um, and so you need to walk, you know, walk out through these doors and make your way to reception where the assembly point is. Um, please turn off your mobile phone. Um, there are, for those of you who are interested, there are publications on issues related to security and conflicts in Africa outside, as well as a couple of copy for consultation of, of the book. Um, and I've already mentioned the, um, the importance of speaking to the microphone to make sure that um, you contribute to the proceedings online. So without further ado, let me introduce the panel um, for tonight's discussion. Um, we are lucky enough to have two of the main editors and contributors of this, um, of this important book that looks at um, inequalities perception in institutions in relation to violent conflicts in Africa and very interestingly looks at what research says about what we know about what we think we know about the role of inequality as a driver of conflict but also as how that's perceived by people and individuals. Um, and um, our speakers will tell you a bit more about it in a minute. So the first speaker is Professor Yoichi Mine, who is Professor of Human Security and African Studies at Doshisha University in Japan and a visiting fellow at the JICA Research Institute where he led the research project um, on prevention of violent conflicts in Africa that um, um, led to the publication of this book. His research interests include human security, development economics, and African studies, and he's the Secretary General of the Japan Association for Human Security Studies. Um, next to Professor Mine is Professor Frances Stewart, um, who is a friend of ODI. She's been on the ODI board um, in the past for a few years. Frances is Emeritus Professor of Development Economics and Emeritus Fellow of Somerville College and Director of the Center of, of CRISA, of the Center for Research and Inequality and Human Security, all of this at Oxford University. Um, her research that most of you will be familiar with has focused on human development and horizontal inequality, but also um, on appropriate technology, basic needs, adjustment and poverty, development during conflict, group behavior, as well as, as I mentioned, horizontal in, uh, inequalities in human development. After the presentations on the book overview by Professor Mina and some more details about the research and the country findings by Professor Stewart, I'll hand over to my colleague Lisa Denny, who's a researcher in the politics and governance program here at ODI, specializing on security and especially on the interface between security and development. Um, Lisa's done her PhD on, in Sierra Leone, looking at the role of non-state actors in security um, um, insecurity and sort of non-state security actors and, and her PhD has been recently published as a book. We'll be launching it here um, in January so she knows um, uh, Sierra Leone very well um, and um, but her current research interests are focusing on community policing with case studies in Ethiopia, Sri Lanka, Timor-Leste um, and more. And then finally my colleague Samuel Levin from the Humanitarian Policy Group at ODI um, who, of course, will offer some reflections from a, from a humanitarian perspective. And importantly, Simon has uh, a lot of experience on the ground in NGOs in Mozambique, Cambodia, Tanzania, and Burundi, um, as well as Uganda. Um, his work specializes in livelihoods and vulner vulnerability analysis, land rights, and in early response to humanitarian crisis. So without further ado, I'll ask Professor Mina to start, um, and then we'll hand over 